Hi, I'm Matt Collins. I'd like to welcome you to Bob Weber Auto Mart on Douglas Avenue here in Racine across from Douglas Park. We specialize in one-year-old, low-mileage, almost new cars. And if you'd like to stop by and see them or see them on our website, bobweberautomart.com, we can save you between five dollars and $10,000 on your next almost new car purchase. I'm Michael Burke and this is Money Talks. Hi, welcome to Money Talks, the Journal Times online business show. I'm business reporter Michael Burke, out at Reef Point Brew House today with John Belko and Patty Landerman, two of the, the six partners. Why don't you mention the other four partners before we get going? Well, my uh, fiance is the second partner. Uh, Patty's husband, Tom, is the, her partner. And then we have Pete and Julie Ortiz, who are the third couple. Mm -hmm. Five of the six are Racine area people at this point, right? Sue is now living here. Oh, she is yeah. too. Okay, yeah. all six of you. Um, and by the way, for those who don't know, the Reef Point Brew House is out on the Causeway to Christopher Columbus Causeway. This is the former uh, Spinnakers, and before that, the Docks. So right. you're the new, you're the new thing out here. Um, why did you decide on the U.S. partners decide on the theme of a, of a brew house? Well, the brew house came into play way before I got involved in it, so mm -hmm. Patty can probably answer right. that the best. We had just felt like there, it seems to be the trend, brew houses, mm -hmm. and we did a lot of research and, and visiting different areas in Lake Geneva, in the Illinois area, even up in Milwaukee, where there are brew houses, and we thought that this would be a great addition to Racine. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, it's brew house and restaurant. We'll make that uh, very clear as we go along. Um, the first thing you notice when you come in here, if you've ever been here before, is it looks completely different, completely remodeled. And that's because it is, right? What are some of the things that you guys did to, to the place? Well, we've done everything. Everything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> the only thing that remains in the brew house is this bar. Basically, it's the bar. Mm -hmm. and even with the bar, everything has been refaced, everything has been redone, with the exception of the top. Everything else that you see throughout the entire building has been uh, remodeled. One, one thing that's pretty significant actually is, um, it's probably not genuine wood, but the wood laminated type floors, and what, it, what was the surface before? It was there, wood. Right. There was what, wood what? in the bar room. Oh, in the bar. Okay. But it was probably the original wood. 25 plus years ago. But it, it, correct me if I'm wrong, but in the dining room, wasn't it just painted that concrete? That was concrete, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and one of the really imposing, significant uh, things you, you did was build this enormous fireplace, working fireplace in the middle of the dining room. Um, it's got to be, what, close to 20 feet high? It's uh, approximately 20 feet high. It's About eight feet at the fireplace. Base. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's really, it's really stunning. Um, what are some of the other changes you made just physically to the place? All new wall coverings, it looks like? We have uh, all new wall coverings. Light fixtures. Room, yeah, has been completely remodeled. The uh, walls put up, walls taken down. Uh, we've got a brand new uh, server's kitchen out there. Right. The bar in the banquet room is completely new. Mm -hmm. We added a granite top bar, a stone in that room as well, on the walls. Now, I know one thing you did, You the dining room, previously had real acoustical issues, a lot of sort of noise clattering around. What have you done in there to soften that? Well, that's one of the issues we heard from the get-go. It's so noisy. So we, we'd address that by putting in the flooring, which is a, it's a vinyl laminate, but it does appear to be wood. Mm -hmm. So that helps absorb sound. We also put carpet, about a four-foot perimeter 
of carpet around the dining room. Mm -hmm. And then we also have up on the wall, on the east wall, an acoustical wall covering with a rubber back to absorb a lot of the sound. And, and you're noticing a difference. We've heard many comments already that the sound is under control much better. Yeah. Let's talk about the brew house aspect. Um, you have 20 taps. Tell me what's on tap here. Well, we've got a couple of, we've got a lot of beer on tap. We've got 20 different uh, craft beers on tap. We've got Wait, 20 craft beers or 20 taps? 20 taps. Okay. 20 taps. We have 18 crafts, uh, two sodas on tap. Uh, we've got a number of domestics in the cooler, and we've also got a number of craft beers in the cooler. And among those craft beers, you have two that are special. They're exclusive to the brew house. Um, talk about those. Uh, well, one is after, named after Patty's grandfather. After my dad, actually. actually He's Jeff, after my dad. dad. Yeah, the Grandpa Jack's beer is a light Pilsner beer. Uh, we kind of, Bell uh, Lakefront Brewery created the beer for us and kind of put dad's favorite beers together that mix and it's, it's, it's one of our best seller beers at this point. Mm -hmm. And then we also have the Bell City Ale, which we named, of course, for Racine. That's exclusive, those two are exclusive for, for the brew house. And, and by the way, um, the, the Bell City Ale, you took that name from the fact that Racine actually had brew, um, breweries at one point, right? Many years ago. And there are a right. lot of historical pictures on the walls to sort of reflect, to that, reflect. That, that past. Um, these two beers are exclusive just to the brew house, right? Correct. They're made yes. for you by Lakefront Brewery. What about the two sodas? Those are also exclusive, I believe. Right. Um, one is a cherry cola and one is a root beer. And those are moving quick. Yes. Those are moving fast, and we do use the root beer also in some signature drinks that we have, like the root beer floats. Hmm. And who makes those? Uh, Black Bear makes our sodas. Which is in Oak Creek, right? I, yes. I didn't, mm -hmm. I didn't know that until mm -hmm. I did that store on your, on your restaurant. Um, how much for a beer here? You can average about $4 to about $5.50, $6, depending upon the beer. We do have Stella and Guinness on tap as well. Uh -huh. For a pint? Yes, pint of beer. Now, one of the things I like about your beers is this thing called the growler. John, why don't you show what a growler is and you guys explain. Well, a growler is a 64-ounce uh, glass jug, container, jug, whatever. And uh, we With put your our, house logo on there. Of it's got our house logo on the front, then it's got another logo on the back. And uh, we fill that with whatever beer you wanted, and you can take it out. And bring it back and get a discount on a refill. And that's, as you guys pointed out to me earlier, great for boaters, right? Correct. Because well, you can just take it, out to your, take it out to your boat. Um, and how are these, uh, are, you, are boaters using those yet? We've, see, we've just started selling a few this weekend. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of interest in those, so mm -hmm. uh, we're going to start moving those. I, I love that name. Is that, does that come from... Britain or something like that. The growler? Yeah. The growler. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's get to the uh, menu. What, what sorts of, what kind of food do you find at your place? Well, we want to be known as the brew house. The brew house, we do smoke many different meats here, right on, uh, in the kitchen here. So we've got uh, beef briskets, pork, chicken, and we have platters available so customers can choose one, two, or three different meats on a platter and try all the different uh, smoked meats. What, uh, give a, an idea, I always try to get prices into a business story or a discussion, so what's the range of entree prices for lunches, what's the range for suppers? You can probably start about seven or eight dollars for lunch. Mm -hmm. We have some great salads, um, burgers, real signature burgers as well. We've got a cowboy burger, Haystack onion strings, bacon, our special sauce on there. Uh, we also have a Wisconsin burger, which has uh, cheddar cheese snaps on it, onion rings, um, the sauce. Everything, all of the sauces are made here from scratch. Uh, mm -hmm. Chef does a great job. We also, on our briskets, all of our um, platters, we offer caddies of our homemade sauces, barbecue sauces. So mm -hmm. those are those are a big hit. We've got people requesting to buy the sauces. Mm. Huh? So to, to take. That's right. a good sign. Uh, what What about uh, for suppers or dinners? What what's, Where do prices start? And what are the hot um, items so far? Oh, what's a hot item? They're all hot. Um, I love the uh, 
pretzel crust the tenderloin. I've had that on how many times already. It's great. Uh, the filet mignon is, I'm telling you, you can cut it with a butter knife. It's so tender. Um, everything that is on our menu is terrific. Right. Now, now you're right on the lake, so do you have much seafood on the menu? We have a little. Uh, we have like a shrimp jambalaya. We also have a cedar plank salmon that we're selling quite a bit of that as well. We have a salmon platter. Mm -hmm. And then we do our fish fry. It's a, we offer it every day of the week, but Friday that's our special, the Friday fish fry. Mm -hmm. um, Saturday nights we have the prime rib special. Um, it's a different night. And we're, Saturday nights we're trying to do like a supper club theme where you come to your table, we'll you know, serve you a relish platter and um, try to make it a little bit of old school. Now, uh, one of the things, um, back to the renovations for a second, one of the things you did was build in a small stage area, just, just raised maybe a foot at the most, uh, in the corner of the dining room. What's the idea there? Well, the idea there is to have entertainment, live entertainment, two nights a week throughout the, you know, at least through the boating season. Hopefully, we'll keep it going all year round. Um, it's, uh, we have a lot of different bands that are coming into the mix. Uh, some of the bands are going to be from out of the city, some will be local, and uh, for the most part they're 60s, 70s, 80s uh, type music. Mm -hmm. uh, and one cool feature about that stage, explain about the, the wiring. Well, uh, you know what I'm talking yeah, about. That's pretty special. Uh, we put a lot of money into the sound system here where any band that comes in all they have to do is plug into our system they don't have to bring their own speakers they don't have to bring amps anything no amps nothing like that they just plug right into our system and and where does it play from where do you have speakers we have speakers throughout the bar we have speakers in the dining room uh, outside on the deck we have them on the deck yeah wherever you know we can program them speakers to cut off speakers at one end if we don't want them there, mm -hmm. if we just want the one end of the house, you know, to hear the music. Yeah. Uh, by the way, in uh, the in my story, um, you guys told me the approximate cost of everything you did, and we have to mention that figure. So, John, go ahead. You talk about the total cost of the of the investment here. It's a lot. It's, it's a lot. We're... Uh, What's the number? We are touching close on a half a million dollars yeah, in so. total investments. Uh, so we're not talking about just a few cosmetic changes oh, here no, and there. Oh no, not at all. No. Yeah. Kitchen, everything. When we moved in here, everything was pretty much gutted. Mm -hmm. And the previous owners, everything was moved out of here. The kitchen was bare, and we took it down to bare and bare. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. we've also got kitchen space downstairs that we've added. And, uh, but we're not done yet. So. Mm -hmm. uh, Talk about the, what you see as being your, your customer base, both in the summer when you have boaters and when you don't. And how, you know, the, the biggest challenge with this place has always been getting people out here, you know, from about October through March, maybe April. So how do you, what do you see happening in those months? Well, our goal is to make this more year-round. Obviously, but um, by adding our fireplace, we wanted to change the whole feel of the room and let people know that it's, it's a warm, even walking in here in the summer, it's a real warm, inviting, homey feel when mm -hmm. you walk in. But adding the fireplace just gives you a whole different ambiance, and we're hoping to book a lot of parties and holiday events for families and businesses throughout November, December, even into January, mm -hmm. um, and carrying, carrying the business through those months by doing events and we're also talking about booking special events through you know whether it's brewery tours through the winter like that's right you should here, mention those mm -hmm. meeting here then we'll go up to another brewery whether it's milwaukee or anywhere we choose and take a busload of people up there make it you know a nice dinner a brewery tour get some freebies in there um, and then bring people back here as well so keeping business rolling that way also through the holiday season maybe bringing the old trolley back for tours, christmas light -like tours, coming here for dinner and then going out for a tour. Mm -hmm. Trying to promote Racine, making this a destination point, um, not just for Racine and Racine County, but even further uh, up and down the shorelines. Um, yeah. 
Um, we also, Nick, we've got some plans for decorating here at Christmas time. That's going to be probably unlike anything hmm. that you're really seeing or seeing. Really oh, yeah. We also are planning Oktoberfest. Uh, we've got a big uh, project coming up that we're, we're working on right now. And we're working yeah. <coughs> close with the Reef Point Marina, trying to do marketing together and joint venues uh, with the voters working together with the marina and us um, to do Blue Fest, um, be their last kickoff weekend before the boaters start pulling out. So obviously you're, you're taking a very active role in, in trying to pull people, people out here as opposed to just being here and waiting right. for them to find you. We're trying to create events that yeah. want, you know, people want to come to. Um, last question is, um, not that we've had a lot of good weather to this point, we're, we're doing this show on June 11th, 2013. But what has been the reaction from the voters so far, who, voters who had been here previously? They love it. Yeah, they are blown away when they walk out the, in the door. They just, they can't even believe the transition this building is made. And what's been the res response from the Racine community so far? They I love it. It's been they, fabulous. It's yeah. fabulous. Right. Off to a great start. We really haven't had a grand opening yet. And um, it was out. if you come in on a weekend night, we've had waits as long as an hour and 15 minutes. Even really? longer. Yeah. Wow. Um, so reservations are advised. I'm glad you said that. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, um, Patty Landerman and John Balco from Reef Point Brew House, um, we wish you all the best. Thank you, Mike. And uh, you've been watching Money Talks. I'm business reporter Michael Burke. Thanks to our producer, Scott Anderson. And please remember, Money Talks.